Hello beautiful people, Angel Gabriella Nichols here and today we're diving straight in with my absolute favourite beauty products that I've been using across the last month or so. Only top recommendations here. We'll keep it quick, we'll keep it quick. Don't forget to stick to the end because I'll be revealing out of all of these products, which is my absolute favourite that I will 100% be buying from now and probably forever. So everything will be linked in the description box below. Are we ready? First up is this By Terry Brightening CC Serum. And I don't know if um, you guys follow Lydia Elise Millen because she swears by this stuff. And I've been following Lydia for a couple years now probably. But you know what? Even though she raved about it, I actually never bought it. But now I'm so glad that I did. Sunny Flash is lovely for darker skin tones. So it does suit me quite well. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I feel like today I might look particularly glowy. And I'm pretty sure it's all thanks to this. This is pretty much all I need to get that really glowy base. You simply apply this under your makeup. I've even tried wearing this on its own. Next up is this gloriousness from Gizu. It is a honey infused hair oil, which I absolutely just adore. It is really thick and it pretty much drips like honey. Cue the B-roll. It makes my hair super shiny. The only thing I would say um, that I've been advised is that this contains silicone. So for Afro hair, you might not get the deep nourishment that you want. But to be honest, since I've been using it, I've noticed my hair has been way softer. So I absolutely love what it does for me on a day-to-day -day basis. The packaging is wonderful and of course as it probably should be um, for costing 70 pounds for 100 mil but what you also get is this really gorgeous piece of literature which shows you a bit more about the brand and its history and how it all started. Negan is pretty famous online if you've come across her and her family have a history of bee farming and it's something that she fell in love with and I'm so grateful that she did. The only thing that I will be requesting Negan is a silicone free version so whenever you get around to that let me know oh and if you are new here welcome to my channel where the love language is fashion beauty life with a healthy dose of luxury but hold the struggle don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on that notification bell for when i post a video every friday and of course why not share it with some friends next up is a thing that i never knew that i needed and it is luxury toothpaste have you ever ever considered this it is for those of us who are probably a bit are we a bit beyond bougie like more low key. I cannot really tell because no one's probably gonna really know that you're using this, but this brand is called Le Bon and it is a Ylang Ylang Zuzu toothpaste. And let me tell you, I love this stuff. I'm pretty much done with it by this point. The first time I tried it, I was really blown away. It has a natural whitening effect. It's really refreshing. The flavor, of course, it has like that undertone of mint in it, but it is just something a bit different to what you're expecting. This is about 13 pounds, I think, and they come in all sorts of um, flavors. Like there's a pineapple one, which I'm really looking forward to try. And yeah, maybe, you know what? Maybe don't start buying this. You you might become a little bit addicted. Yeah, maybe 13 pounds on toothpaste is an expense that you'd rather do without, but. Oh my God, it is lovely, it truly is. Next up guys is this gorgeous, gorgeous product from Hourglass. This is their newest blush um, from their Ambient Lights collection and this shade is called At Night, which is really great for darker skin tones. Of course, with this iridescent glow. This is now my go-to and it's really buildable too, which I really love. So I imagine myself using this on my day-to-day -day basis, but even in the future when we're finally out of lockdown, to restaurant, dinner, night out, eventually, whatever it may be, because it's so buildable, this is 100% going to be something that I'm going to continue to buy. Okay guys, next product that I'm talking, I have to say, game changing. I absolutely love these products from Glossier. And yeah, say what you wanna say, I might be late to the party, but I always use just a, you know, kind of a skinny mechanical pencil. I tried the angled ones, they never worked for me, but I found myself lusting after those really fluffy and feathery eyebrows. So I thought I'd give it a go. And on their website, you can actually pick a kit, which is um, a bit more economical. Um, and you can also flex between which shade you want. I got the boy brow, 
in black and also the brow flick in black as well and you can see how much I've been using this literally by how worn the packaging is but yeah I have to admit it is great definitely recommend next up and almost last is this gorgeous wit body cream from origins and oh my god it smells delicious this tub is empty i love the stuff i've been using it every single day i can't be doing without it now i love using it by itself i love also when i'm looking for a bit more heavy moisture mixing it with some oil and the scent of the ginger if you're somebody who loves ginger like i do you're gonna really love this it just smells so delicious, like you could almost eat it. Oh, heaven and super nourishing. Last but not least, and you may remember if you watched my Valentine's gift guide, that one of the things featured on there was a set from Fenty Beauty, which featured the Stunner lip paint and Rihanna's glorious eyeliner. Now, it's been a long time since I've used this lip color, like a really long time. And I was so happy to receive this as one of the little presents that I got on Valentine's Day. It is just everything. It's better than what I even remembered. The color payoff is exquisite. You don't really even need lip liner. It's super glossy, super kissable and seductive. The only downside to this product is that there is a bit of transfer and because it is so liquidy you definitely have to remember to do that little lip trick once you've applied so it doesn't get on your teeth the other thing that i really love within this kit which is why i think it's such a fabulously priced kit for 20 pounds is the eyeliner and i'm wearing this today i've been using it a lot and the felt tip on the pen is still you know it's not frayed or anything which is sometimes what i get i have tried so many designer liquid eyeliners or from other professional makeup brands and usually after a while they are just not as impressive as i first thought they would be so i tend to always go back to an oldie but a goodie which is like the rimmel standard liquid liner but i think i've made a friend for life with this fenty one riri han please do this in a dark brown oh my gosh those are all the products but of course as promised i will tell you what is my all-time favorite product from this list so if i had to give up all of them and only purchase one for the rest of my life oh it's tough it is tough i'm gonna give you a top three as well actually because i would say that the gizu hair oil is in at number three the hourglass blush at number two but even though i'm still learning a bit with it i've got to go with a glossier boy brow and liner brow flick kit this has just made my brows so much better so unless unless i get microblading this is just going to be a perpetual purchase next week i'm going to be talking the christian dior saddlebag and the lady dior and which one you should buy thanks to one of my lovely subscribers so thank you so much sincerely stacy b what a great question she's in the market for both so we're going to help her decide which one she should prioritize first so thanks for watching my beautiful people and i will link to another video around here somewhere bye